Good morning, Capricorn. Welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I am Nicole. Capricorn, this is going to be your reading for September, your overview. Um, this will be for your sun, your moon, and your rising cross watcher. If that is you, welcome to the channel as well. I always discern the messages accordingly. You know if it fits or doesn't fit. Don't force it to fit, right? Plain and simple. Uh, Capricorn, uh, we're going to jump right into it for the most part. Real quick, I will say thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, subscribed, commented, those who have made donations to the channel, and uh, those who have booked personal reads with me. Thank you very much. That information, if you are interested in a personal, can be found in the description box below as well as the about section of the page. So Capricorn, um, automatically I heard something here is starting to fizzle out, <clears throat> excuse me, or will begin to fizzle out. So I'm not real sure what's going on with you guys. A spirit, a spiritual awakening. Uh, yeah, I, I could see that. There's a lot going on right now. Um, and let's remember that Pluto has moved back into Capricorn, right? Gone direct and back into Capricorn. So, or is it direct or redirect? Or redirect. Oh my God. Um, retrograde still. I, I think it's retro. I don't know. Check it out. But my brain can't think. I don't know. I haven't had enough coffee yet today. But either way, uh, Pluto is in Capricorn. So we're seeing a lot of things. So you may be feeling a little <clears throat> affected by this. But uh, let's see. Let's see, Capricorn, what those intuitive messages were about. Let's see how clarity, crystal ball, change. I, again, something something here, when we talk about that fizzling out, if you've been dealing with something or somebody, something is starting to change. And I'm going to tell you, it's kind of like you're seeing right through Spirit's calling it motivation. So this motivation, um, the way I view it, the way it's coming through, may be the motivation of other people around you. Um, <clears throat> and it's kind of like, I don't know why I have to keep clearing my throat this morning, so bear with me. Um, I, you know, as I say that, Spirit says someone's pretending, ooh, somebody may be pretending to be ill, Ew, what is this? Um, <clears throat> things may not be as severe as they seem as well. Like, I just want to, I need a Palo Santo. Like, what is, what is happening, Capricorn? Like, I'm like, huh, I need to sage Palo Santo something here. Give me a second. What is going on? I don't know. I don't know what this is about, what this is pertaining to. Um, now I will say to you, if someone is, is ill around you, don't take this video and go, oh my God, you're pretending like, you know, they may have some things going on, but I, I just feel like somebody is kind of like in victim mode, Capricorn, um, utilizing that and what they, <laughs> spirit, what they don't know is you've written the book on something. So whatever that means to you, I'm not sure. Fate. That card came out for Scorpio yesterday, Capricorn, um, and it was it was a big a big deal. You know, I think it's interesting too as I say this. Um, you see this this guy here, right? You see like the the horns, the gesture, the the whatever it is on his head. This cord or this cord, this cord. Okay, so cords. I don't know. I feel like your your reading is going somewhere different. I don't know how else to say it. Um, you see the, the card of Capricorn that I use when I'm pulling out who's, who's coming next in the readings. <clears throat> you see those, those horns on Capricorn's head, which is, you know, you guys sign, signifier in the deck is the devil, right? Like, but Capricorn, I, I could feel like <clears throat> somebody may be invoking the devil in you. And I don't, I don't feel that that's in like a, a negative sense or a, um, it isn't like you're coming out with devilish tendencies. And um, it's all, you know, okay, so this morning, and this is, I've said this before, so bear with me. I know I'm kind of all over the place here. Um, this morning, I was, something kind of hit me. And what I've learned over the time of doing YouTube is for me to pay attention to what happens, what thoughts, what downloads come through prior, I'd say about 15 minutes before I do these readings. Um, 
because it, it shows up somehow. And I'm going to use this as an example because I just seen this yesterday. And this is what brought this up. And as I said to you, intention, like that's not your intention is to be that way. I'm going to use this example and, and bear with me. I, I don't want to hear in the comments gun rights and, and all that shit because it's, it's a whole political thing and I'm not doing that. But everything we do in this life, Capricorn, is about our intentions. And yesterday I was somewhere and I don't watch the news. You know, the, the very best thing you can do for yourself is turn off the media because it's fear mongering, it's chaos, it's everything negative. Like it will impact your aura in a hot second. Facebook, like some of the things that pop up, it can be used for good or bad. Anything could be used for good or bad, right? And... But I've seen um, something about a, a school shooting in Georgia, and I have no idea <clears throat> what's going on whatsoever. And I've seen something uh, momentarily like this morning on it, and that's kind of like invoked that feeling of what the hell. And, um, and then the downloads started rolling in. So my point to that is, and how this is pertaining to you, is you think about like guns or money right? Like none of those things are bad ever. And I, I will even say religion. Let's just throw religion in the mix. Nothing is negative until a person utilizes it that way. Okay. So guns are harmless until the person that picks it up makes a piss poor decision. Money supports our needs, our wants, our desires. But then, you know, is it as a uh, example, right? If somebody's using money to buy drugs, if somebody's using money for trafficking purposes, you know, religion to control and dominate, it's always about the intention. Is somebody using something with the best of intentions or are they using it with the worst of intentions? And with that clarity here, Capricorn, I feel like you're trying to see the good in everything, everybody. But then there comes this, it's like a flip here. And I keep going back to that moment in Scorpio's read yesterday of like this, this um, duality of one side of a situation versus another. And I don't know, you may have Scorpio placements. You may want to check that video out. Um, but that fake card rolled out. And this is kind of giving me about the same interpretation, not quite the same thing though. But this is, there's two sides to this. And it's two sides to a situation that you are specifically dealing with. And I feel like <clears throat> a person or situation could have represented itself in a way that was like, I do these wonderful things, you know, I don't know, maybe, uh, I don't even know what example I want to use here. Um, let's go with religion. And I'm not knocking religion. I personally am not religious. I'm spiritual, but everybody is entitled to their own and I support you no matter what direction you go. Um, just for the record. But, and the dog's playing in the background, my apologies. Um, but let's just say someone shows up in this very, like, religious manner, okay? And that's cool, right? Like, that's their faith, that's their belief, that's fine. And, um, but then you start to see that something about it seems a little off. It's kind of like, you know, as an example, don't judge other people, but then... As you're having conversations with this person, hey, easy girl, you realize um, they're judging people left, right, and sideways. And it makes you go, well, you just, you know, you uphold this, but yet you're doing that, right? Like, what's the intention? Why would you say one thing, do another? Um, but there's something about this Capricorn, you know, and it fit that, how it rolls or the, the scenario, not so much the specific situation. But what, what is happening there? Because I, I do feel like you're losing patience 
for some some situation here or some person or some whatever this is and you're getting clearer about the intention of, of a person or a situation and it's kind of like wait a minute this is not at all what i thought that this was this is deceptive this is toxic this is heavy i got the chills as i'm saying this like something is showing itself to be um spirits using the word disruptive dice it's a gamble right like you may have taken a gamble on somebody uh you know if we're going to use that word you took a gamble on something or someone but i feel like again it's more that you were trying to um see the best that's how that gamble is, is appearing to me trying to see the best that somebody's intentions were met well so you gave them the opportunity you took the risk you took the gamble on this person or situation to see how it would play out and you're starting to see whether this person when it comes to you capricorn or you with this person somebody here is playing with fire um it's spirit said it's invoking a reason to retreat from a situation um you all need to discern very carefully who you're dealing with at this time um because i don't feel like somebody here has the best of intentions uh they could have kind of shown up out of nowhere uh is really how i feel about this um they may be a little pushy as well um they don't realize capricorn <laughs> 11 is very heavy for you, 11. <clears throat> um, like, you've already moved through some emotional waters that took a lot of strength. And, you know, you could call this a test from the universe in some way. Um, but you also recognize these things as they come up again. Okay? Um what else for Capricorn spirit? What else? What is this movement about? Um, you know, Capricorn, you may be intimidating to this person. Um, they may have seen you in the sense of uh, an opportunity where they could... They see, there's that devil card in this deck, the lust card. Um, <clears throat> they may have seeing you as an opportunity um it's like they may may have mistaken your kindness for weakness is really how this feels um because i don't think you're letting this person or situation see you at full capacity it's like the lessons you have learned sit very internally you may not speak about them you may not show them it's like not you know not bearing your heart on your sleeve kind of thing um but they live within you and I think that you need, I'm going to tell you the same thing as old Scorps, you need to give yourself that credit, right? Like you've learned a lot and you don't, you know, you don't wear the, the pain or the situations like a merit badge. So people who are coming to you, who may be in this negative sense, they may see you being kind, a little quiet, a little reserved, and they foolishly see you as the next victim of their bullshit um their intentions like i'm gonna circle back around to intentions they they took a look at you and said "Ooh, here's here's a person or a situation that i can dive into and get my way not realizing capricorn that deep within you you have moved through you know, tumultuous waters in the past and those lessons they may not be <clears throat> healed and call it that but there's at least for you a personal awareness now where you may not have had that before and you've learned to observe <clears throat> you've learned to decipher the behavior and or actions of other people before um allowing them to get too close to you this also reminds me of, um, where was I going with this? <sighs> Again, it's not, you know, you're, you are giving them the benefit of the doubt. And I, and I commend you for that because, you know, we can't treat everybody 
the same way as the last person that we dealt with. Because when we get into that space, that can really mess us up moving forward, right? We'll never really be able to move on into something positive. Um, because we see one person as everybody that was before them. Um, <clears throat> but you may, Capricorn, you may be having a hard time expressing yourself to this person in a way of, hold on a minute here. Um, because I just, this whole time I've had this like coughing, choking feeling in my throat and I keep clearing my throat. Um, <clears throat> everything happens for a reason and I've not had that and I can't tell you how long. Um, but you have, you've tried to give them the benefit of the doubt and there's, there's just something kind of poking through, spirit is calling it, that is bringing a very subtle awareness, but yet a very profound awareness within you into regard, in regards to the situation. Oath, this is, um, Spirit is saying this oath is you taking into account everything that you've learned before. Um, <clears throat> and there, there's the devil. I, I, it's just, you know, Capricorn, I could relate that to you. And I think that for you, like you're in it, you're like, yes, I want to feel good. And I want these things to be good for me. Um, but at the same time here, this situation feels like it can wrap itself around you and hold you, <clears throat> hold you back. <clears throat> I keep having to clear my throat. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. I would sometimes stop a reading and then just kind of either pick up or pause it, but I don't feel like I should with this. Like there's a reason, like there's, there's something going on here that says like, I don't know, the person you're dealing with may clear their throat a lot. And you're talking about illness, like, oh, I'm sick, I need to come see you. Like, I don't know if you're taking care of this per person, nurturing this person. Um, maybe you're a, a healer of some sort, right? Like, that type of thing. Maybe they're coming to you for remedies or Reiki or I, I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. But it's like, um, they're looking to you for guidance and answers. Like... You might, you may just appear to this person to be naive, and you're not. You're not, in this particular subject, Capricorn, you are anything but that. You just don't show it on the outside, <laughs> okay? All right, for Capricorn in the past in regards to this situation, again, the Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles, like you understand about, you're understanding your connections with whether it's people or situations, nine, nine, you have completed it's wrapped up like you've you've closed out this particular part where you've had to gain some significant clarity to external circumstances and it, it shows within you right it, this is not about what you show to the external world but rather what you have learned for yourself and it's been about seven of wands boundaries and you the choices and that kind of came out a little wonky and that's what I said like you're not at that hardened place, Capricorn, that goes, uh, I'm never going to let anybody in. I still want to see the best in people. I still want to see what they're able to to show me individually. And, But I also feel like this situation is wearing on you a little bit. This is also about your competence, your willpower, um, you know, you being assertive in, in your personal power through, you know, by way of dealing with these situations. Three of Swords. This person is in a lot of fire energy. Capricorn, you could be dealing with a fire sign. It does not have to be. So Aries, Sag, and Leo. But I don't, I, it, again, it doesn't have to be. And there's Gemini sitting here and Virgo as well. Um, this person is a massive disappointment to you when it's said and done. Um, and it's almost like they're kind of ripping off, I don't know if I'm going to call it a band-aid, but they're kind of reopening a wound for you. And it's like, Jesus, like, can this just stop? Like, what is it with these people or these situations that tend to make their way to me? Um, it's like you're, as you're dealing with something else, and I'm not really picking up on what that something else is. I'm going to be straight with you. I do feel like there's something else external I don't know what it is for each of you. You know better than I do, but for whatever reason, that's not the highlight of this message. Um, but 
you're you're sick of people stringing you along is what I'm hearing like don't come in and pretend that you're my best friend don't come in and pretend like you're genuinely interested in me don't pretend like um you're gonna give me a raise if you're not like it's it's something to that effect like it, it, it is a very much a string along kind of energy and you've seen this you've been a part of this before you're not going to repeat this cycle and and I, I do think that again that hermit in the nine of pentacles is you have learned how to stand on your own two feet by way of healing the self introspection learning that personal awareness and going, I I'm good doing my thing. Like I've gained wisdom. That white owl is wisdom and clarity and purity. And you're stepping into a pure space. Um, but this shit from the past, right? Six of cups, the star. Uh, I think that by the time Aquarius season rolls around, I, am, I wanted to say what meant to come out of my mouth was when Pluto moves back into Aquarius. But Aquarius season came out of my mouth. So I would say to all of you that this is different timelines for you all. Um, so be aware of that. Or maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. Um, but I do think that, that I said to you when we started this video that something is kind of slowly moving out or however I worded that, right? Like it's fizzling. Is that what I said? Fizzling out or something to that effect. Uh, it's, it's coming. And... It's just going to take some time. See, you, Three of Pentacles, the High Priestess, you see something, you know something within, right, that you're not sharing with others. It's, it's, it's a need-to-know basis. These people don't need to know. You're not wearing your heart on your sleeve. You're not showing your hand. You know, the gambling, you're not showing your hand, right? If you're sitting at the poker table, you're not going to show everybody your hand. Um, you're not showing that to these people of who you truly are. They have a falsified perception by way of their own means that says this is who Capricorn is. And by way of that, they think that they've got you pegged and they know how to play you. They're sadly, sadly mistaken, Capricorn. All right, what is this present energy about? Too many cards. Six of swords that I was showing it. Whew, I thought I had to sneeze. I'm so sorry. I feel like... Like all these like little things that are happening to me, like my throat, my ears itching right now. I thought I was gonna sneeze. I said I yawned. Like somebody could really, <clears throat> like it gives me that really like weird impression. <laughs> I don't know who you're dealing with, but oh my goodness, um, it's like somebody like throws their self on the floor and goes, "Oh my god, my my knee gave out." Like maybe you're in the middle of an argument at, or a disagreement or a whatever. And they feel the tables are turning on them. Like you're coming across and you're seeing something. Like it's becoming a little more apparent to them that they can't quite fool you. So it's like they throw themselves on the floor and go, oh my gosh, my, my knee gave out. And I just, oh, I, I, it's so dramatic. So dramatic. And you are not going to just leave them laying on the floor. So I'm here, let me help you. You're, are you okay? Oh gosh, yes. I just, and then it's like, it takes the, um, the heat this fire energy right it takes the heat off of what you're seeing in the moment it's it's a distraction right and as and I, i'm going to circle back around to the fact that i talked about that news or you know the news the news being on that's a distraction right it's a distraction like all that crap is a distraction from everything going on behind the scenes we're going to put all that in the front page of the newspaper because we don't want you to see what is really going on let's give you something else to complain about instead this person is that distraction, same as to the news, right? Like they are going to find a way to distract you when the heat starts to get placed in that direction. Be very aware of that. I would say to you, caution Capricorn, that yes, help them get off the floor. Hey, are you okay? But get right back on your horse and it's back to business of whatever was going on prior to that. Okay, like this is a very, a queen of swords. That's a very important message right there. Okay, um, it's it's spirit prolific. All right, <laughs> Capricorn, I said it, I said it, I said it. The tower, uh, Scorpio Aries energy, again, that fire energy, could be dealing with a Scorpio. I don't think you are in that regard. This just feels like that, that moment of, you realize the distraction in this, right? Like, this is bullshit. 
I feel <clears throat> oddly enough with this tower more than anything, there is a fire being lit. Uh, it is that culmination of what the hell is going on here. Again, around the partnerships, <clears throat> you do have somebody else supportive of you. Don't let this send you back into like defense mode. Like don't get defensive, stay on the um, offensive. You don't, Spirit saying, you don't have anything to prove, right? There's nothing here to prove uh, in regards to you yourself. But don't let them back you into a corner or a position to make you feel guilty that it's going to create a tower moment. Like with this person, I think that there has been multiple tower moments where they kind of seesaw back and forth in different ways. They're, they're kind of like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. All right, let's see. Moving forward, what is this Three of Swords? <clears throat> Three of Wands and the Justice card comes out sideways. Uh, you may be in a position where you feel like this is a lose-lose situation here, Capricorn. Um, Ace of Wands also, the Lover's card again, choices. I don't see this necessarily as romantic. It could be for you. Um, I don't know what that is. Um, and then the Hangman. So this is like... There, someone is igniting something within you, and this may come in some sense of a, a blow up with somebody or something. Um, but they don't realize again, like the light energy that lives in within you. There's a dark energy that sits there, three of wands. It's like you're trying to separate yourself from that energy at this time. And I do think that, like, when you, there's the tower again, look at this three cards back. Um, I usually take the first five. But Nine of Cups, King of Wands, the Tower. Like, you're like, I'm breaking free of this. I'm not dealing with this. That Nine of Cups to me isn't so much about the happiness as it is a sense of freedom. That I'm, I'm not going to continue to deal with this behavior or whatever this is. So um, Capricorn, be cautious because I do think this person is kind of like playing a pity, a pity party for themselves. Trying to drag you into it. All right, advice for Capricorn. Getting back out there. So you may have met, somebody may have found you online. You could have been dating online. Doesn't have to be. Um, they, um, they're trying, like they're trying to meet new people. But there comes that seduction card, right? Like temptation, temptation. There's a lot of temptation in this. Um, you know what? Oh God. Um. This situation, this may be something, it's kind of like a catfishing kind of energy, which I usually don't pick up on stuff, um, where they look for their next victim. Like, it's weird. It's real weird. Like, you guys know what you're dealing with. I don't know. But I do. I feel like, yeah, you're going to death card. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform. What's dead is dead. Like this, whatever this, and cut down, cutting out, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. This is a repeat pattern. You're seeing it uh, firsthand quickly. And this is, you're, you're going to bring this to an end sooner than later. Uh, third week of September may be signifying something. I'm not quite sure what that something is. Um, but I, I will go back to the point of address either Scorpio season, uh, which I'm just now saying, but especially in regards to Aquarius and I think November 11th which is Scorpio season uh, I think that's when Pluto moves back into Aquarius so be aware all right Capricorn I hope this was helpful like share subscribe and comment um, I love to hear from all of you personal reads my brain just went sort of blank personal reads are open and available and that information can be found in the description box below as well as the about section of the page take care of yourselves and I'll see you again soon bye-bye